Hey folks, I'm Dave Morrow, creator of Hard to Kill training programs and author of The Nimble Warrior. And if this is your first time checking out my YouTube page, man, hit that subscribe button and shoot me a like, I'd really appreciate it. So today we're gonna to work on the hip hinge, and this is part of a greater series on keeping our war fighters fighting. The reason why the hip hinge is really important is because it literally connects your torso to your lower body. So getting these sorted is gonna provide you with a lot of athletic ability, and we're gonna get those hips moving like Shakira before you know it. So we're gonna use Alex today, he's gonna to be my demo guy, and we're gonna start with just a really simple fix for doing the hip hinge. So I'm gonna have Alex just take a, take a normal stance, feet hip width apart, toes facing forward, and I want him just to hinge at the hips by pushing his butt back, and just going down by keeping the spine nice and neutral. So Alex, I want you to go down. Okay, good, and stop right there. Stand back up. Okay, so some things we wanna observe when we're doing the hip hinge. Namely, a lot of people default to a, a squat. So Alex, what I want you to do is, your, your hip hinge is looking pretty good, but what I want you to do now is go into the hip hinge, but default to a squat. So move your knees first and then go back and push those hips back. Yeah, there we go, and stand back up. So that's a common fault that we see in a lot of our athletes, and this means we don't have a connection between our hips and our torso. So in order to fix that, we can do a few things, okay? We can cue, start with the hips. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm basically gonna give him a tactile cue. I'm gonna say, Alex, what I want you to do is push your hips back and then go into the hinge, good. Now stand back up. Notice he went to the default with the knees again. So the next thing I'm gonna ask him is we're gonna step back. So Alex, if you just step back to the wall, and I'm gonna go back to the wall, just careful where you're going. And what I want you to do is just take a step forward exactly. And what I want you to do is hinge forward and try to get your butt to the wall. Excellent, stand back up. Good, come back forward. So that drill is gonna be great to train that into you so that you're not gonna to default to your knees bending first. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna move up the chain. So we're gonna look at the T-spine. So we, we want what's called a neutral spine when we do any kind of hinging. Um, this essentially means that your spine is just in a neutral position. It's not overextended and it's not rounded out. So in order to do that, we're gonna get Alex to go back into the hinge position. So let's get into your hinge. And what I want him to do, is just bring his head up so that's in line with his spine, okay? And then he's gonna engage and bring his chest up so that he can engage that T-spine. Now, if you're having trouble getting into that position, that may be because you're, you're lacking a bit of mobility and that's something that we can look at later on another post. So right now, Alex is in a good neutral position. So stand back up. Lastly, what we wanna work on is controlling our lumbar area. So a lot of problems arise when we start doing heavy deadlifts, but we don't have a good neutral spine. And more importantly, we're not braced. So what I'm gonna do is just show a really simple bracing drill. So bracing just means that you're gonna turn on those abs before you do any kind of hinging. So in this case here, it's basically the gut slap test. So I was gonna pretend I'm gonna hit him in the gut, stand up nice and tall, keep those abs nice and tight, and now he's braced. So when he goes and does his hinge, so do your hinge, okay? He's got his neutral spine, his head's in a neutral position, his spine's in a neutral position, and his abs are turned on. He's bulletproof right now, man. Stand back up. This is gonna take all the tension off your low back because antagonistically, having your abs turned on means that your low back doesn't have to work. So these are the three main things that you need to do in order to sort out your hip hinge. So namely, making sure that you can actually engage your hips and push them back before engaging your knees. Then next is making sure that your T-spine can ensure a nice neutral spine. So keeping your head in nice alignment and bringing those shoulder blades back. And then lastly, bracing before we actually get into the position so that our lumbar spine is not gonna get compromised on any one of these hinging lifts. So go ahead, go try these out and pass all this on to Buddy and train hard, fight easy.